him. Quick, head him off downstairs. I know the secret of this door. We've got you at last, Johnson. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't bluff us this time, Johnson. I heard you giving orders to your men. Uh, you heard me giving orders? Yes, over your secret radio. That wasn't me. I was listening to the radio when the voices started coming over. That's a good alibi. But if you weren't guilty, why did you run out the secret passageway? Well, someone tried to break into my room, and naturally I came down here through the panel passageway to get help. I came through that uh, closet over there. And as I opened the door into this room, I saw the man you were after just disappearing into that fireplace. There he is now! Look out, Fred! Fred, are you all right? Where's Johnson? Help! Help! It's Mr. Davis, our superintendent of the dam. What happened? I heard the explosion and started out of my room. Johnson came rushing by and knocked me down. Which way did he go? In that room. It's locked from the inside. He couldn't have gone this way. Then how did he get out? There must be a secret exit. Remember the hand we saw in the fireplace? He got out through there. Did Johnson come out this way, Martin? No, he couldn't have without me seeing him. Just as I thought. There's an opening that leads upstairs. You folks wait here. If Johnson isn't the black ace, he knows who is. You get the sheriff after Johnson. But how are you going to get to the cave? You flew here in a mystery plane. I can use that. You guys can talk if you want to. Don't mind me. I'm not keeping you up, am I? One more trick like that and I'll show you guys how this thing works. Wait, 
you're going the rest of the way on foot. Don't want Cook to get wise. gonna keep us here till Cromwell shows up got anything to say about it no just wondering that's all Franken, Cromwell's headed this way in one of our planes. Cromwell? Are you sure? I saw him through the periscope. He'll be here in a minute. And he's only got a minute to live. Disconnect the ground brakes. Quick. Right. What's the idea? If the ground brakes aren't set to stop Cromwell's plane when it lands, he'll crash against the wall. Oh. Thanks, Bill. You keep your eye on them. I've got a little business with Bracken. Right, pal. In there, Bracken. Station A, calling the Black Ace. Station A, calling the Black Ace. Black Ace standing by. Right, Chief. So the men from Station B got there all right? Yes, Chief. What about Cromwell and Cook? They won't bother us anymore. Good. There's something important I must see you about. I am going to Station B. Meet me there. 
Okay, Chief. Where's Station B? It's a mine. You'll never get away with this, Cromwell. That's for me to worry about. Now show me the way to that mine. If the Black Ace ever found out I double-crossed him, he'd kill me. And it'll be sure death for you if you don't get going, Bracken. Hey, Fred, what do you want me to do with these mugs? Put them on their horses and take them to the sheriff. Ain't you coming with us? No. I've got an appointment to meet the Black Ace. Heading this way. Collins! It's the Black East! Something's up. Yet, Chief. When they do, put them to work on a double shift. Right. We'll have to get that gold out before the dam is built. Another one of our planes coming. There's another plane coming, Chief. That's Bracken. I'm expecting him. Stop the enemy signal. Enemy signal? Is there a plane chasing him? Lookout says there's no enemy plane in sight, sir. Then there must be an enemy in Bracken's plane. Check up on that flyer and see if it's Bracken. What's up, Bracken? Had a little trouble. Got a prisoner back in the plane. Stop where you are. Take off that helmet. Collins! I know you're not the Black Ace. 